Hello and welcome to my shed. Uh, our verse for today is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 13. What you have heard from me, keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in Christ Jesus. And I read verse 14 as well. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Uh, Paul is writing to Timothy, his young uh, friend in the faith, and uh, he is saying, listen, the gospel is glorious. Uh, I'm not ashamed to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, and I am persuaded, verse 12, famous verse in this letter, I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Uh, that day, of course, is the day of his uh, glorious appearing. But then he is he's encouraging Timothy and he is saying, what you have heard from me, keep as the pattern of sound teaching. So what is he talking about? He's talking about, of course, the Holy Scriptures, our Bible. And he is saying to Timothy, Timothy, keep this as the rule of your life, as the pattern to follow. I've got in the shed with me something I made. <laughs> was it's well over 40 years ago now. Uh, and it's a, a brass fox. I think I've, I've told you before that I, I worked in a foundry. And uh, the foundry had a cast iron side to it. And then also non-ferrous metals, aluminium and copper based and so on. And uh, in that little section, the, the brass foundry, uh, I made this little fox. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? And you might think, ooh, you were clever, Terry boy. <laughs> well, I mean, I had a part to play in it. Uh, I mean, I was trained in foundry work. I know about metals, uh, the metallurgy of metals and furnaces and casting and so on. So, uh, like, I, I had a part to play in that but you know the real skill about that is the person who made the pattern the pattern maker I'm no artist but obviously he was an, an artist and he carved that face there in wood and he made a pattern so that anybody who could use that pattern then could make something Lovely like that. Okay? So, yeah, I know about foundry work, but I'm no artist. But the pattern maker, that's the real skill. And Paul is saying to Timothy, listen, the Lord is the master pattern maker. He is the one who has given us the pattern. And that pattern is his word. And, of course, the center of the Holy Scriptures. The person at the heart of the Holy Scriptures is our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ himself. He is the Word uh, in person. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He is the glorious pattern. And, and the Lord has given us the scriptures and the Lord has given us this perfect example of Jesus. And he is saying, now listen, use that as your pattern. Pattern your lives on Jesus and on his word. Put it into practice. And of course, I've said it often before, I think, haven't I? That God's great plan for your life and God's great plan for my life is that we be more and more conformed to the likeness of his son, the Lord Jesus. Romans chapter 8. Now the world doesn't want that. The world wants to squeeze us into its mould. But God is saying, I've given you the pattern. Follow the pattern. And so when I show you that, it's not really me. It's the pattern maker. And that's what... Uh, that's what surely we would love for our lives. 
We want people to see something of the beauty of Jesus in us. We used to sing a little song years ago, didn't we? Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. Oh, may that be true. As we go about our work today, or perhaps we've got a day off, or perhaps we've got something nice planned for today, as we, as we go through the day, oh, may there be something of the beauty of Jesus about us as we seek with his help, with the Holy Spirit. Paul said to Timothy, you can't do this on your own, but by the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. God bless you and have a good day. Amen.